Viewer question is, what about thin-shelled and thick-shelled bowling balls? Well, there is a quantum. Thick shell means the entire ball outside of the core has the same density. And in reactive resin, that's about 1.2 grams per centimeter. Okay? Or 1.1. Here is a guru. And as Brunsnick mentioned, the beginning of the radical revolution. You'll notice we have a core, but we also have an area, this white area, that is an outer core. We have an inner core, an outer core, and a cover stock. Now, why would we do that? Well, two things happen. Number one, the outer core material is less expensive than the cover stock. Cover stock being the most expensive component in a bowling ball. Okay. Secondly, if we take this outer core and make it of a lighter density material than the core is, that would make this ball more core heavy. That's how we get low RG balls. They become core heavy because we take density and mass out of the outer core because the outer core of this ball is a lot heavier than the outer core of that ball because we don't use that outer core unless we're going to use a lighter weight material. This is a certain weight quantum core. If I want to make a quantum core that has the same differentials and intermediate and total differentials as this one, I actually have to change the shape of the core. So that I can't change the adjustment of this, I've got to increase the amount of the cover stock material, decrease the amount of the core material, so the ball weighs the same. So if you're using solid shelled balls, you're going to have different core shapes. Sometimes those core shapes don't roll exactly the same. But as I am very familiar with, I can do 14, 15, and 16 pound balls, low RG or even medium RG, and have the same intermediate and total diff on the undrilled ball in 14, 15, and 16 pound balls. But because the ball has to weigh less, the RGs will go up ever so slightly. But that's a very little change. So if you're looking at a ball that's got an inner core, it's because they're telling you the ball they want the ball to rev up sooner as the ball goes down the lane. If you got a ball with a solid outer, co outer cover and only a core, they're telling you that ball wants to read the back of the lane. Read the front of the lane read the back of the lane, and now what we've done with Dynamicore, which is blue, is even though we're using lighter density material, which means we're using hollow ceramic beads, okay, they have thicker shells on them to make them stronger. So what does Dynamicore do? It's the same density, but the beads that they're using have a thicker shell on them, they use fewer of them, they get the same intermediate and total diffs, but the ball has a little bit more resiliency and therefore it kicks a little harder on the back. Inner and outer core, low RG. Outer core, outer cover, and just a core, higher RG. But this ball is much more expensive to make material costs because the cover stock is the most expensive material in a bowling ball. Now there's why you have some three-piece balls and some two. Depends on what we're trying to get the ball to do. Because we want to give you a ball that does what we tell you it does so that when you drill it, it is satisfactory because you knew what it was going to do. There's a Mo Monday for you on inner outer core versus solid cover bowling balls. Thanks for your time. And yeah, I got to apologize for my voice. I'm in Michigan in the winter. And guess what? It happens. Thanks for listening.